just knock on one of these doors. You know? Yeah. Hi. Come on this way. He. I don't know. Oh my. Yeah. Hello and welcome to a very special episode of the vlog. I am Joseph in front of the Canadian Parliament Building in Ottawa, and I'm here with my American friend Jason. Jason, where's Jason? Who's calling right now? Jason! Oh my God, there he is! You're supposed to be here. What happened? Oh, went to the border and they really just wouldn't let me through, so I figured I'd just come home and relax on the back deck. Oh God! Listen, while I'm here, you have one question that maybe you want me to ask anybody I find here. Yes, I want a no questions asked. Border pass. You know what? If somebody can do it, it's probably the prime minister. And we're gonna try to find him. All right, I'll see you later. I'll let you know how this goes. Okay, well, I want someone else to come and experience this with me. I wonder if Adam's busy. Hmm. 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 Hey, you made it, it worked. I was just in my bathroom brushing my teeth. Yeah, and now you're here in front of parliament. Whoa, cool. It's Adam, host of the Canadian show. Today we're gonna try to meet the prime minister. What? What, what, what? We could just walk into the buildings and knock on his office door? Yeah, we can give it a shot. And if we can't get into the building, we need to find some, maybe some people who work in there, some MPs who can maybe let us in. Yeah, I'm sure there'd be no problem. Well, I hope so because we have some very important questions Ooh. to ask the prime minister, Justin Trudeau. It's to see if we can make poutine the official national food of Canada. Poutine. Uh, poutine. Okay. Just before we go in there, we want to ask some people on the street if we can get some support for our endeavors here. So we can bring it to the desk of the Prime Minister and say, look, the people want this. The people have spoken. We're only here for 24 hours. It took a lot to get to this point. Let's go back and see how we got here. We made it. We're back. We're in the car. We're going to Ottawa right now. I know we were just there, but I, we got to work our way back. And I, I, I know you were being popped around a bit. Are you okay? It's all just so sudden. <laughs> Are we stopping at Tim Hortons? We must. All right, good. I also really, really need to be. Montage! Now it's a road trip. The only thing that would make this better and more nostalgic is the old Tim Hortons lids, which I enjoy much, much more than this. There's not enough room for my lip. I don't get a good seal. I don't understand your concerns with this. I'm a big fan of this new lid. It doesn't leak like the old lids. I think if they, they tried a little harder, they could have they could have made that perfect. They literally made these like sippy cups now. If we can find the prime minister, I'm gonna ask him if we can mandate them to bring back the old lid design. We cannot, we cannot ask him for that. Well, why not? Only two and a half hours to go. More manchas. All right, first stop, Golden Palace, to try their egg rolls. Supposedly they're one of the best in Ontario. I just want to order the egg rolls. How many are there? Two egg rolls. I can do about 10, 20. <laughs> <laughs> we won the best egg rolls in Canada in, in November. In Canada? In, in November. Oh, that's for us? Sweet. Thank you. That was Thank very you. fast. I'm thrown off by the edges. Really interesting. It almost looks like a sausage roll. Here we go. Oh my God. It's so juicy. I think it might be the best egg roll I've possibly ever had. Nine out of 10. Plum sauce. That looks like legit plum sauce. I think it is. In the US, you don't get plum sauce. They don't have plum sauce in the US. The crunch sounds perfect. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna drink the rest of this. Oh my. Mm. <laughs> it's really good plum sauce. Americans, get on the plum sauce, figure it out. Now we're going to the hotel. Let's I'll check in. Le Germain. Back in the car. Oh, oh. Jeez. Okay. There it is. This is our bribery. We had to get us past the guards. <laughs> yeah, slip them a cup. Nobody first. can resist. All right. All right, well, All right. we'll see you tomorrow. Right. No time to nap. We gotta quarry the people. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna come back tomorrow when everyone shows up for work, but for now, let's get some food. We're going to find a shawarma place. We've passed about 17 in the two blocks we've already walked. And then, stand-up comedy. Hey, I see my cousin, it's Peter. How's it going? Is this a good shawarma place? Everybody has their own opinion of which shawarma is best in Ottawa. Okay. So you ask 12 different people, you get 12 different answers. So. How's business? Good? I'll do the chicken shawarma, the large sandwich. Uh, sure, I'm not driving. Yeah, yeah, everything, everything. Yeah, that, that looks good. Pink stuff. Oh, not that, though. 
Look at this guy. This is a true Ottawa onion. How do you? He's eating on Schwimmer on the streets. Well, I know which one's yours, Joseph, because it's Massive. the hottest one. I got everything I wanted, which is everything they had. Sure, sir. To Ottawa. To Ottawa. Six out of ten. I would say about six and a half, but I will finish it. Oh, it's still good food. It's still good. Excuse me, sir. Would you like to? Can I ask you a couple questions? Do you know what this means? Poutine. Yes, sir. You win. What do I win? A handshake. All right. Do you know what this means? That's poutine, sir. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Fries, cheese, curds, and gravy. That's a poutine. Yeah. Yes. You know what this means? Canada Day. I don't know. No. Oh, are you from Canada? Yeah. It's the recipe for poutine. Yeah. Do you know what this shirt means? Yeah, it makes poutine. Do you think uh, poutine should be the national? food of Canada. What about it would qualify it to be the national food of Canada? That's a very good question. I should ask the, the Prime Minister that. There is no official food of Canada. Do you think it should be poutine? Yes. What else would it be? Everybody knows Canada is, is poutine. It's actually surprising that it is. Do you, do you think that's true? I think that's true, yeah. Well, you wouldn't sign something to say, let's do this. I, d I don't know, and I don't, uh, unfortunately, have a better option for <laughs> you, and so maybe it is the right answer. I'm just conflicted. Do you think it should be Canada's national food? I thought maple syrup like might give you a good run for its money. Of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think Excuse me, sir. Can I ask you a quick question? Sorry, I'm a Russian. I got gotcha. you. Walk faster. I just want to ask you a question about what you, if you know what this means. Yes. What is it? Putin. Putin, yes. Do you think it should be our national food? Yeah. Yes. That's a vote for us. Woo. Do you know what this means? No. no. Uh, Are you from Canada? No, South Africa. South Africa. This is poutine. Uh, is that poutine? So I wondered what it was. Did you have it? I haven't had it yet. You gotta try it, sir. I will. It's the best thing you've ever had. I swear to God. You're gonna remember my face when you eat it. I'm sorry about that, but it's really good. Okay, I'll okay. Go. I'll give it a go. Enjoy. Justin Trudeau, please, please make, make Putin, Putin the, the national, national dish. dish. Mr. Trudeau, can you make Putin our official meal, please? One other question for you. You drink Tim Hortons? Sometimes, yeah. You know how they got those new lids? Do you like those new ones or do you like the old ones that are flat and you can get your you know, lips around the mouth? Uh, no, I've got to say probably the old lids. Bing! New Tim Hortons lids or the old Tim Hortons old lids? Ones, all the way yeah. up. All the way up. Aha! Uh -huh. so. Probably the old ones. Yes? No opinion. Because that's, that's another thing I'm going to ask. Mandate Tim Hortons to bring back the old lids. Would you be in support of that? I don't think that's a good uh, use of the Prime Minister's time, but <laughs> sure, yeah. I mean, if he's willing to field that question. That, that petition yeah. I will sign. I think I've gathered all I needed to to have enough fuel to bring to the Prime Minister's desk, if we can get in. I don't know how he's going to refuse this evidence of what people want here on the streets of Ottawa. Now let's do some stand-up comedy before we go to bed. <laughs> We're here live on Elgin, on Elgin Street. Who'd have thought? Let's go laugh. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> this is cool. Oh, it's happening here. Next up, we've got Joseph. Joseph, please need to read the stage. This is great. They, I, I'm Joseph, and I am now, for lack of a better term, a full-time content creator. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, being a content creator, it's very hard to explain that to everybody. Basically, a long time ago, I started putting videos on YouTube, mainly comparing the differences between Americans and Canadians, and I started putting those uh, videos onto TikTok and Instagram and doing some food reviews, and, and things started to go really well for me. But then the other day, somebody asked me, well, Joseph, how do you make any money? And I said, well, wife, <laughs> uh, that's a good question. It's a simple answer. I don't. <laughs> so, uh, actually, we drove into town this morning from Toronto. Uh, we were here filming another episode. We're basically making a video about trying to go and find the Prime Minister. And I've been asking people, like, what should I ask him? And I get a lot of typical, like, you should ask him when he's going to step down. <laughs> when he's going to lower our taxes. This guy, like, think, he gets these questions all the time. I want to ask him things that nobody's going to ask him, right? Like, things that he'll remember. Like, for example, I want to ask him if he can mandate Tim Hortons to bring back the old lids. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> also, to make uh, poutine our national dish. Round of applause. Do you think poutine should be the national dish? <laughs> there we go. Yes. All right. I'm going to ask him tomorrow. I'm going to try to get in there and ask him. If he doesn't agree, I'm going to ask him to step down. That's when I'll ask him that question. I'm Joseph. <laughs>
Oh my God. Recommend if you're in Ottawa, you got to come to this place. Can I ask you uh, some questions? Lunch. We're going to ask him about uh, if he can mandate the old Tim Hortons lids to come back. Do you, <laughs> you mean the ones that would always open on their own? No, uh, uh, no. One for me. That sounds horrible. No, no. <laughs> the other thing is, we're going to ask him if we can make the official national food poutine because there's, there's no national food. That sounds horrible. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got to go get to Parliament and see if we can get in. We're here in Parliament. We need to find somebody who looks like they work here to get us in. How about these people? No. How about that guy? That guy might, does that guy work here? I don't know. Maybe people look like they're here to exercise. How about this guy? Excuse me. Hey guys, hey. Are you, do you, do you guys you work here? You look very official and- Hi, Randy. I'm Randy. the Minister of Tourism and Member of Parliament for Edmonton Center. No. Yes. This could What's be- What's your name? I'm Joseph. Hi, Joseph. This what is brings you to Parliament Hill? To get inside Parliament Hill. <laughs> well, we just want to film and like show Canadians and everyone outside of Canada what what this place is all about. What are you, like a vlogger? Or of course. Like, you got serious I got, kid here, I got, man. I got the setup. You got the whole setup. Yeah, can you, do you think, like, honestly, like, could, could we come in? Could we, could you take us, do you have an office Guys, in here? is there time? Can we make this happen? Yeah. We can make it okay, we're gonna make it happen. Oh You're my gosh. You're coming to the office of the Minister of Tourism and we'll tell you what you need to know about Parliament Hill in Ottawa. Yeah, uh, maybe we can hit up the PM's office too, right? Yeah, no, I, I think you're crazy. Uh, no, no, we're fine, <laughs> everyone's going, let's go. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna take an official photo because people just came and had a really serious meeting. Yeah, so you literally moved the flag oh, yeah. over, <laughs> which hides the door to the bathroom. Oh, man. Yeah. This is. You are now a minister. <laughs> da, 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 da. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you for bringing us in here. Do you think, you know, maybe, you know, casual meeting with the PM is in, in line and we just go to his office? You, that's a joke, right? This is the river that, that separates Ontario and Quebec. So that's Gatineau. Even if we just walk by his office. Like, just do the walk by the PM's office to say, hey, Prime Minister, how are things? Yeah, just say hi, hi casual, hey. <laughs> just kind of want to ask, like, what is your main job as the Minister of Tourism? Like, what's your main goals? Get more people to come to Canada and to encourage more Canadians to travel across the country. Yeah. But the overwhelming appeal, like 67% of our tourism market is the United States. Of course. So the message is, Americans, get in a car, go yeah. north. You can have an international trip in your own backyard. Exactly. Just go north. What we've d done is, you know, bringing my American friend to experience Canada. Like, yeah. that's a lot of what that's we're awesome. doing, right? It's been, for me personally, like, discovering Canada through these lands yeah. has been really interesting. I, I'm learning things that I didn't know about our own country, right? And that's the other question. What is Canadian food? Well, yeah. Canadian food is food from all over the world. All over the world. We have yeah. a few unique things like poutine. We were outside asking people on the street about like, do you think poutine should be the national food? And six out of six people <laughs> said yes. So, you know, if you take that and you scale it up, 100% of Canadians. In a limited sample size. Oh, we'll cut that part out. <laughs> How do you make a food a national, official national food? So look, you could have a unanimous consent motion. Okay. Go through parliament. Now that's Turkey. Because mm. you gotta get the conservatives, we the liberals, the new democrats, the bloc, and the independents all have to agree mm. to said motion. So I'm your guy. You can do all the lobbying <laughs> and the speaker would stand up and say, I understand there's unanimous consent for the following motion. We declare food X, the official food of Canada. Yeah. If it's unanimous consent, then oh. okay. it, happens. it happens. Now, <laughs> would that cascade across the whole country? Uh, but look, yeah, it's when a poutine is done well, it's the thing of beauty. As a francophone Canadian, yeah. I have to say that I, I'm on board with this idea. With that, we should have, you know, maybe also some indigenous dishes. That, yes, or, uh, Bannock. Should be like maybe a, four or five. The like, food aid guide to Canadian food. Oh. There's a book coming. It's a Canadian with a curiosity for food. Just the Canada food guide. Yeah. We have the food aid the food 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 guide. Food. Oh. That's for Americans. For Americans. Well, I was thinking that we could uh, make an official food aid day. <laughs> That's a thing we should do. That's a, a thing. food aid day. There was one more thing. Oh yeah, how do we work together to convince Tim Hortons to bring back the old lids? First of all, do you like the old lids? Do you like the new lids? Does it matter to you? I'm lid agnostic. <laughs> but I do like the clean lines of the old lid. Yes, yeah. I was able to get my mouth on the actual cup as opposed to like above it and... Well, I think that is a corporate lobbying issue. Yes, you're right. But yeah. if there's a safety issue or an environmental issue, then mm -hmm. the federal government 
could help you with your campaign. Yeah, you don't want to spill a hot coffee. No, it's very dangerous. <laughs> this has been great. You are the Minister of Tourism. Maybe you should tour me oh, around the town, go. around Check Parliament. Out Ottawa, the capital city. Yeah, and, and the PM's office if you if you want. You know? Oh my god, about this city. <laughs> Come on, we can do it. Let's do it. We're all everyone's doing it. Come on. <laughs> So we are in the Byward Market and we're at the Moulin de Provence. This bakery also made itself famous for making Obama cookies for his first visit in 2009. Oh wow, so oh my god! You want to come and have a famous Canadian cookie? This is incredible, this place is wild. Is oh look, they even have video of when he was oh, here. Do. Oh wow. Pandemonium. There you go, there's your Canada cookie. <laughs> in the capital city. Cheers, Cheers, Cheers. man. Here we go. Mm. Adam needs some. Very good. Right. Let's, Let's go. go. Dun, dun, dun. This is what I know as beaver tails in the Byward Market. Look, since I've been here 20 some years coming to Ottawa, the beaver tail list has expanded. You know what? The Killaloo Sunrise, the original <laughs> tried and true, is oh, always going to be the best Cinnamon, sugar, spot. and lemon. You and I agree. We also have a garlic, butter, and cheese. Whoa. It is our secret menu Whoa. item. Okay, here we go. I'm in my element now. <laughs> Minister of food, right here. Minister of food. <laughs> this is good. garlic Look cheese. Oh my god. Yeah, that was pretty darn good. That is wonderful. It shouldn't work, but it does. It's not even on the menu. No. This is no. like secret vlogger menu. Oh, it's like a snack rather than a dessert. Right. Now dessert. It's the Chololoe Sunrise, cinnamon, brown sugar, or lemon. Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh my god. That lemon adds so much. How does the lemon do that? Mm -hmm. That might be better than the original. We'll have to see though. Classic. I've never had this many beaver tails in one sitting. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's like going home. Wow. Yeah, I'm just amazed by the lemon, how it just changed that. I bring the lemon back. A little bit of lemon on the original. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, come on. Share the lemon. Well, honestly, like, those last two were nines out of ten. Huh. Just a round of applause. Call them a hey! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beaver tails. Beaver tails. Luckily, we have some poutine here. Oh my goodness. From a place called Zach's on Elgin Street. Multi-decade diner. This will be the second poutine for me today. <laughs> and for Adam. All right, let's see. Oh, oh that's a beautiful looking classic. Nice. Good. The cheese curds have melted. The gravy looks very Ooh. traditional. All right, team. Oh! Mm. Wow. Mm. That's a nice gravy. Mm. Fries are super crunchy. Matters that it's cheese curds. Right? Yes. Yeah, not shredded mozzarella. Oh. <laughs> well done. Thank you, Zach. Yeah, 8.5 out of 10. You can't like, go wrong with this. Like, this, this is, is wonderful. Super. All right, well, let's, let's walk and eat. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Are you enjoying this? Please, subscribe, hit like. Let's continue on. There he is. Oh man, he's giving <laughs> photo ops. He's taking hands, kissing babies. <laughs> well, what do we you? have some poutine in front of the uh, Ottawa Let's side? Let's do it. Um, oh my God. So mm. good. This has been a great treat for yep. us. We wanted to present to you your own, very own food a shirt. Hey! Canadian with a curiosity for food. So we head back to, you know, to the apartment office. Take us back to your office. Let's go. PM's office, no problem. Just outside the minister's office, a little coffee station here. What I saw that I actually love is instead of stir sticks, they have pasta. <laughs> what a great idea. So you get to stir your coffee and a little snack. Heats it up, you get a little, a little linguine after with your coffee. <laughs> Fantastic idea. No, it needs to be heated. Very nice. Here we are. Hey, there we go. Vintage <laughs> elevator. <laughs> Confederation building. What an angle. <laughs> oh, go, 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 go. Oh, thank you. Parliament Hill to the West Block. To the West Block. Heading see. into the action. Hopefully we'll see some MPs and some PMs. <laughs> you are crazy yeah. still. PM or AM, whatever you like. I love your optimism. Any time of day. All right, we are in the Chambers of Commerce, just outside of the House of Commons. There is MPs everywhere, important people everywhere. This is crazy. We have to go through some, some security. We're Lots of security. Yeah, so that's why we weren't allowed to film until like this area. If we turn the camera around, they will kick us out. We're gone. We are not allowed. Hey! Oh. 
I want to turn the camera, every, but I can't. Everyone's got milk in their hands. Here he comes. Come in. All right. Promoting milk. We just did a photo. So in addition to poutine, in addition to beaver tails, milk. Yes, yeah, so milk. And I had some. We had some cookies earlier. We could have <laughs> missed it. We did a quick press conference on the way in. Asking and, about the poutine. Like, yeah, why do you want to yeah. make poutine the official food of Canada? Yeah, you handled yourself well. I, I, I thought the reporter was particularly tough yeah. on you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That guy was a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Journalistic standards, independence of the journalism. It was him. I found somebody familiar because you are an MP where I live in Burlington. Yeah. It's We have Pam Damoff here. I'm proud to represent you here in Ottawa. Yes, And I, right. I heard rumors you were coming here. Despite I, the odds. You're in the lobby of the Parliament Building. It's like, how cool is that? This is amazing. I feel like my entire YouTube career is built up <laughs> to being here. We have a few questions for everyone here. We found out that Canada doesn't have an official national food. Oh. But we would love it to be one of them. Maybe be Putin. Would that make sense? Would it be something I that would work for me. You have your, your support for that? Yeah, I you know, support that. We interviewed about six people on the street the other day, and they were like, yes. But you're sort of, by telling them it should be Putin, you might be influencing right. their decision. Well, that's what I want to do. That's what you think this is. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing is, this is a very controversial issue. I need some help to try to convince Tim Hortons to bring back their old lids. You know the old lids? Yeah, I that do. Are, that were, do you like the new ones or the old ones? Uh, I like bringing my own cup to Tim Hortons, okay. to be really honest. Genius. So. If you were in a pinch, though, and you didn't have that. I like the old ones. Okay, yes. These are the important questions, I think. It was keep me up at night. Yeah, <laughs> obviously. Oh, yeah. We're really fortunate to have you <laughs> doing what you do thank and you. representing our community. It makes us proud. And thank you for what you do here representing us. It's kind of overwhelming to see it in person. It's you pretty see. awesome. Oh, right. Right. Nice to meet you. you. Thank uh, Joseph. You, Pleasure to meet you in it's person. Good. What do you uh, what do you do here? I compare products uh, from between Canada and the U.S. <laughs> you pick on McDonald's. Yeah. I try to do uh, Wendy's. I saw recently you started you found me on Instagram. You, I anyway, did. I'm a big fan. That's so cool. There's two two things I'm trying to do here. There's no national food of Canada officially yet. I would love for one of them to be declared uh, Putin. Do you think that that might be a good idea? I think. What are we waiting for? Yeah, Why haven't right. we done this already? Yeah. Also, here's a very controversial issue. Uh -oh. Yeah, I'm trying to get. Uh, some support to to convince Tim Hortons to bring back their old lids. You know the old lids? I yes. don't know. I'd rather deal with the politics in the House of Commons than, than that. with the Tim Hortons <laughs> politics. So I, I'm just going to get out of this. Canadians know we are on the right track. I'm going to interrupt the right honorable prime minister. I got some complaints because there were some people shouting from this side. We just got told by somebody that we were being too loud and they can, they can hear us inside of the House of Commons. PM might have heard us. That's hilarious. We're really making an impact here. Shh. <laughs> Sorry. It's my first day. <laughs> okay, so um, Prime Minister's Gallery, Portraits. Yeah, is yeah. he there? Well, no, we can go see. <laughs> oh, you're on. <laughs> Okay. okay, so tell so, us where we are right now. So we are in the House of Commons precinct. Oh, cool. The House of Commons is one low le uh, level beneath us. We've got some offices around here. Okay. And so it's really important, you know, you all see it yet because it's really important that we need to make sure that this works. We lost them. <laughs> Maybe just knock on one of these doors. Okay, this might be, I think this is it. This might be the door. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. Come on this way. He, I don't know. I don't know. Oh my. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey, come on in, guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, I, I, I have to, all I figured out, it's, as I see Randy, I figure out what this is. Oh what, my what have you got going on, Randy? Bringing Americans to Canada. Okay. Telling people about how great our country is, how great <laughs> Ottawa is. And they pitched to me to meet you today. And look at this. We've been, it happened. Hey, Joseph. Hey, Joseph. Yeah, Pleasure Joseph to meet Adam, you. Prime Minister Adam. Adam. Well, nice to meet Welcome you. Welcome to uh, the Prime Minister's office. This is beautiful. Okay, wow. We what? did not belong here, Joseph. No, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how we got here. enough random doors we did. you never know what opens. We snuck away a little, yeah. A little bit about myself. I started working for the Buffalo Bills and Sabres. Okay. We did their documentaries. Yeah, so you, you, where'd you grow up? Toronto, Pickering, Pickering Ontario. Okay, Pickering, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's not quite Toronto. No, no well, you know. It's, <laughs> it's the wrong side for the Sabres, too. That's but, true. Uh, <laughs> so then I, I moved to Buffalo three years. I've been in Burlington. I still live there because I could drive across the board yeah, every day. Yeah. There you go. Into awesome. work, got the nexus. And that's where, you know, we started making these US Canada videos where, you know, showing my American friends Canada. Well, well, well this and... office is rectangular, not oval. That's the uh, one thing. Uh, is there like a, a, a snack drawer or something? Or... That's the thing my kids know, right? They know if they come here and they open up the snack drawer, there's all sorts of crap in there because I don't snack. Right. Right? Oh, like, every now and then I get something, I'm like, oh, here, I should keep this. So there's some really old chocolate bars. I tend not to, uh, you know, not to okay. snack. 
Okay, all right. So here, here's something we've been t t thinking about, and you know, a lot of that stuff I bring my American friends over and you know, eat a lot of poutine. Like, it's uh -huh. very important. Yep. So I just found out that there's no official foods of Canada, and I would love to make one of those foods Putin. I don't know, our health, our health minister, who is a Quebecer and loves, loves Putin, might disagree with something that has been analyzed to be as harmful to humans as eating straight rat poison would be. Uh, but I'm a huge fan of Putin, okay. as long as it's made with proper cheese curds. Of you course. get to too many places where they're grating mozzarella onto it, which doesn't count. You right. get the proper cheese curds with the right gravy, and then you're, you're okay. I, uh, I totally agree. Also, food, do you have any good recommendations that you've heard of in Ottawa, in where you're originally that I've heard of. You You've know, heard of it. Yeah. There are fabulous restaurants in Ottawa. Yeah. They're just all two hours away in, on, in Montreal. <laughs> you, know, yeah. you know that. Uh, okay. uh, but actually, that's not true. There are great restaurants in Ottawa, like every other city in this country, uh, has a great mismatch of so many different cultures. Easy in for everybody is food, especially, you know, people who've never been here before. Also, other Canadians who are touring around our own country. Prime uh, Minister, we had beaver tails and poutine for lunch. We won't tell the health minister yeah, that. No. Oh, indeed, indeed. Well, I mean, most tourists are disappointed when they find out that beaver tails are not actually beaver tails. Right, no. But if you've ever seen a beaver and its actual tail, you know, there's not, it. nothing appetizing about it's that. Totally. <laughs> Is it true that there's like a Putin vending machine in the House of Commons? Is that a thing? No, because oh. I guess it theoretically could be invented, but keeping uh, the fries at the right temperature oh, and the gravy right. appropriately yeah, hot yeah. and the cheese yeah, curds yeah, properly cheese cold so they squeak that's the right true. way. That and makes sense. This, yeah, you know, you know your stuff. You know your Putin. <laughs> you know, I actually do have work to do. Oh, but, you yeah. know, well, this like, just becomes a career time. limiting move for the <laughs> Minister of Tourism. Yeah, I was gonna We're say, out of here. I really appreciate it. What a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let's go, boys. Thanks, All right. Guys. Have a good day. Have a great day. Woo. See ya. Dude, we just met the Prime Minister of Canada. We did it. We did it. <laughs> <laughs>